Hi, I'm ABC 10 meteorologist Tracy Humphrey with a look at our extended weather forecast. We have a series of weather systems, atmospheric rivers that are headed our way, and significant weather is expected beginning tonight and lasting all the way throughout the day Tuesday. So here's what we're expecting. Rainfall coming in overnight tonight, stormy weather, the opportunity for high winds, heavy rain and heavy snow in the forecast throughout the day Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So stormy weather finally coming to a close Tuesday night. Periods of heavy rain and snow along with the opportunity for those gusty winds. We do have wind advisories in effect. Winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour for parts of the valley, especially those coastal ranges on the western edge of the valley floor. We'll take a look at that in just a few moments. And hazardous travel is likely during this time frame. For Monday, looks like we, that's when we will have the strongest winds along with the heaviest rain and snow. That's when we have the opportunity for power outages because of downed trees and power lines. Uh, you're going to have Christmas decorations all over the place. Uh, we could also have multiple spin outs as well as road closures, especially in the higher terrain. So if you do have to travel in the Sierra, make sure you have everything you need. You need a blanket. You're going to need protein bars. You're going to need water just in case you get stuck up there until they have an opportunity to kind of clear the roadway. Here is a look at the satellite and radar. What we're currently looking at around five o'clock in the evening. This system kind of coming in off of the coastline. It's going to be moving in and slowly but surely it's going to make its way to us. So it starts off on the northwestern edge of the state and then sinking down to the south as well as to the east and looks like it's not going to hit us until later on tonight into the overnight. Take a look at our future cast. So this is timing it out based on model data. The green here showing the opportunity for rainfall. The deeper the green, the stronger the rain. When you get to yellow and orange, those are pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall. The blue showing the opportunity for snow and then you can also see a little pink there. So that's where you have that rain and snow mix. As we move forward in time around two o'clock in the morning, you can can see the leading edge of precipitation finally making its way to Sacramento, parts of the East Bay moving into the San Francisco area, and we also see the other opportunity for snowfall coming in as well. This is going to be that frontal boundary and then back behind that a low pressure system comes in and that's when things really get interesting. So that one wave comes in, you'll see a few showers heavy at times throughout the day on Sunday. That'll also be the same thing for snowfall heavy at times throughout the day on Sunday afternoon. And then we watch a second wave that starts to approach the state. So this is 11th 30 Sunday night. Here is another system that's going to be coming in. This one off the coastline. This one looks like it's going to be a little stronger. Monday again expected to see some of the strongest winds Monday afternoon and when it comes in we'll also be looking for rounds of heavy rainfall. That comes in early Monday. That's going to be with us in the forecast Monday afternoon and then finally this system starts to pull away and wrap up but that's not going to, going to be until late Tuesday. Now this is an extended long range forecast. Once we get past Tuesday there could be even more rainfall in the forecast. Take a look at this particular model, the GFS, showing we could be looking at more rainfall moving back into the forecast Wednesday, still in the forecast Wednesday night, as well as into Thursday. So not a little enough of a break really between those two major storm systems. So it's going to be a very busy week weather wise. So if you do need to do anything around the house, now's the time to do it. You need to button some things down, maybe take uh, Rudolph off the front lawn just in case he ends up down the street. Now's the time to do that. So how much rainfall could we pick up? So this is based on model data for the next 10 days. And when you're looking at the yellow here, especially for some of the foothills, we're looking at as much as four inches of rainfall. Now bear in mind, a lot of things have to happen in order for that to occur. The storm track has to remain the same. The timing of the storm has to remain the same. So if this system moves a little quicker than what we're forecasting, the storm totals will be lower. If it stalls out, it could be a little bit higher. But as of right now, Sacramento Valley looking at about four inches of rainfall, up to four inches. And that's where you see the red here, just south of Redding, down into Sacramento, parts of the north, the East Bay Hills, much of the San Francisco area, and even moving down into Stockton as well as into Modesto. So a significant rainmaker for us. In addition to that, it's also going to be a very significant snowmaker. Take a look at this. This is 80. If you're going to be traveling 80 late Saturday into Tuesday, this is how much snowfall. Starting out with snow levels around 6,000 feet. This is a colder system, so snow levels not quite as high as they were uh, when we had the major atmospheric river that came in toward the end of October. And as that colder air comes in, snow levels will begin to fall. So they're going to start out around 6,000 feet in elevation. That's going to be tonight into early tomorrow morning. Look at Donner Summit. 80 to 100 inches of snowfall possible. Truckee up 
to four feet. Kingvale up to 100 inches of snowfall. Blue Canyon could see up to 80 inches, all to 12 to 18. And then as the colder air comes in, snow levels will get from 6,000 to around 4,000. That's going to be Sunday into Monday. And then finally Monday night into Tuesday. Then we finally start to see the opportunity for lower snow levels. Now right now it looks like that's going to be around 2,500 to 1,500 feet. That comes in when we see some of the coldest air and that's going to be Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. So again, snow levels starting at around 6,000. They're going to dance a little bit and they're going to get to around 4,500 feet. And then finally, when that last wave comes in, the coldest air comes in. That's when you see the opportunity for about an inch of snowfall coming in for Applegate and Colfax. And again, right now, that's timing out to be late Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. Something else that we're watching, Highway 50. How much snowfall could you pick up there? Echo Summit could see 60 to 80 inches. Lake Tahoe, three to four feet of snowfall. Like hearing that. Twin Bridges, you'll see similar conditions to Echo Summit. Kyber's coming in at 18 to 24 inches. Pollock Pines, 12 to 18 inches. Camino at three to four inches. And again, it starts out the same, around 6,000 feet in elevation. That's going to be for Sunday throughout the day into Monday. And then finally, as that colder wave comes in, you'll see some of the lowest snow levels coming in late Tuesday into early Wednesday. So here's a look at the winter storm warning. So everything in the pink shading here, essentially for areas above 3,500 feet in elevation, those are the areas that are going to get the brunt of the system. So that begins around 4 o'clock this evening. That's going to be in the forecast throughout the day Sunday, Monday, finally expiring when the system moves out late Tuesday. Whiteout conditions are possible. Travel is expected to be impossible. We're looking at the opportunity for road closures, of course, spin outs, and of course, you're going to have chain controls in effect. So 24 to 48 inches of snowfall and for areas that are above 7,000 feet in elevation, you could see several feet, maybe 70 inches or more. And again, this is going to be a significant weather maker because you're talking about multiple days, rounds of rain, rounds of snowfall. And that's where the concern comes in for travel. That winter storm warning again in effect until late Tuesday. Here's what you can expect. Snow covered roads and limited visibilities. Travel not recommended. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. Something else. We got the snowfall. We got a lot of snowfall coming. And I also mentioned the wind. There is a wind advisory in effect Monday from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday is expected to be the day with the strongest winds. South winds coming in around 20 to 30 miles per hour, gusting up to 45. And some areas could see gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. So that's going to be uh, near the South Lake Tahoe area near Reno. And then for us, it's going to be for areas just west of the Sacramento Valley floor. That's where you have some of those coastal mountain ranges coming in. That does include parts of the Sacramento area, sweeping in through parts of the Delta and parts of the East Bay, and then just along the coastline here. So you add in the opportunity for heavy snow. Now you're kicking up the winds. That's why we do have an avalanche watch in effect, especially for the South Lake Tahoe area. And then when you get to us, areas closer to the valley floor, that's where you have the opportunity for power outages and of course down trees and power lines. That avalanche watch is in effect Sunday through Wednesday for Truckee into the South Lake Tahoe area. Heavy snow loading on buried and weak layers could cause and could compromise um, a lot that snowpack that we have and that could lead to large and destructive avalanches. So it's going to be very busy beginning tonight. Sunday you'll see periods of rainfall heavy at times as well as snow. Monday looks to be the day when we could see the most and the most significant weather with the strongest winds and we could see the maybe the most impacts from all of that weather. Tuesday the system will finally wrap up and move out of here. Wednesday we're watching another round coming in that doesn't leave the area until Thursday. Temperatures I haven't really had a chance to focus on those because they haven't really been that um, that important <laughs> considering how much everything else is going on. Upper 40s coming in for afternoon highs, so slightly below average for this time of the year. Right, right now, it does look like by the time we get to this time next week, we'll all be drying out. Uh, people will be digging out, and a lot of people, I'm sure, will be trying to get up to Tahoe to take advantage of some, some of that fresh snowfall. Of course, when you start talking about the snowpack, we need all of it. And when people ask me what's more important, the rain or the snow, it is the snow because the snowpack sits there longer and it takes it a long time to melt so we can benefit from it and we can be it's more resourceful for us. Rainfall sometimes just runs off when you have the snowpack. It slowly melts during the spring. We get to use it. It goes into reservoirs. We use it for agriculture and sometimes you're still looking at a snowpack in the middle of the summer as well.